All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already. If you're here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So, this is my personal opinion and slash review for the 2023 action film called Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. And I think there's going to be three. I could be wrong. It could only be two, for all I know. But uh, that's, I think I kind of remember that. Um, but this is the seventh installment in the Mission Impossible franchise. And just a heads up, there will be spoilers, unfortunately, on this particular one. So, you have been warned. But here's the plot, and then I'll get to the casting, and then, you know, you can come back when you have seen the film, if you don't mind spoilers, or if you have a problem with spoilers. Here's the plot. Ethan Hunt and the IMF team must track down a terrifying new weapon that threatens all of humanity if it falls into the wrong hands. I know that was a whole bunch, but, you know, I, I didn't really know what to put there. So, other than that, because there was quite a bit. But here's the cast. So, it's been a while since I've seen the sixth one, or any in, in general, to be honest. Um, which came out in 2018, so what uh, so was a bit of a fuzzy on certain uh, characters, past connection stories to Ethan Hunt, uh, and there's been plenty of characters added over time throughout the franchise, so it does get confusing and honestly a bit cluttered as a franchise as a whole, especially at this point. Uh, I honestly don't remember comedy being in the franchise, but seeing Tom Cruise in an old yellow tiny Fiat was so funny to me and satisfying as well to watch. I loved it, but I loved that scene, but I will say it felt like a filler, which in this case is not a bad, uh, bad problem, um, just to be honest. Uh, by the way, this was a bit too long in my opinion, almost three hours, I believe it was... Uh, two and 46 minutes or something um, with credits and opening and stuff um, but still a fun entertaining ride throughout just need a lot of the action scenes to to not be so stretched out um, my issue though is with how they rushed with the transition cuts from scene to scene I will also point out the idea of the Head main villain being an AI generated weapon is a bit too lazy of an idea in my opinion. It feels like recycling of what's been done plenty of times just with different themes and slight tweaking here and there with all the things. Terminator, uh, I mean there's a lot especially with the Terminator franchise they draw that out. Um, and you got, I think, the first ever one that I'm aware of that came big, sort of the whole uh, AI thing, was um, a Space Odyssey. So I, I personally haven't seen it, but I know the uh, the, the red dot computer thing comes, you know, uh, alive and whatnot, or self-aware. Now, when the train was falling over the cliff, to me, that was really cool. And satisfying to watch, but definitely was pretty overkill along with when Tom randomly crashes through the window of the train earlier. That was also overkill and honestly kind of stupid. And when I, I mean the stupid part specifically when he again crashed through the window just randomly. It did kind of scare me, but it was just like, really? You're going to do that? And it's kind of a questionable part in, in the, uh, the writing, but whatever. Uh, but definitely a fun film with plenty of over-the-top action. Now here's my rating. I'll come back with my final thoughts. Now, in my opinion, at this point with Mission Impossible franchise, is nothing special. Uh, just like James Bond films, uh, the whole spy action pack thing is very drawn out but not bad half the time just not special so it's not really a a crapping on spy franchises or or, or mission possible or james bond it's just kind of the kind of the same kind of stick cut to it you know it's the same kind of story this with tweaks into it you know the basics of it so um it's 
it is what it is. Um, it's they're kind of getting me now into more and more of uh, adding, you know, assassin theme films. So it's kind of in the same realm with spies, but just they're not agencies, I guess, or something. But um, yeah. So what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, my next review will be uh, Sunday, hopefully. That's when I'm going to try, but things have been going a little bit odd this week, so. And uh, I know what it is, but I don't know what the name of it is at this moment, so I can't tell you, so. Um, but yeah, hit the bell icon. Remember, I love you. Please stay safe. Spread the love. Most importantly, Skull.